Hey YouTubers, it's your pal EMBSD 14R coming to you live from the Keystone State. Uh, it is January the 25th, 2015, and this video is specifically going to be on a layout tour. Um, I actually had uh, one of my YouTube fans request that I do a, a layout tour, and it actually got me thinking, how long has it been since I actually did a layout tour? And come to find out, it's been about a year or actually two years since I've actually done a layout tour. So, yeah, let's let's skip this show on the road. I'm going to give you guys a tour of the layout. Uh, let me start here. Let me shut these engines off. Let me start over here. This is the ERW engine facility and yard. Of course, it's only two tracks at the moment, but it's soon to be three, possibly more, like it used to be. Uh, this is what, this is the engine shed uh, where you know the locomotives are stored for the night, or they get repairs. And there's a a hustler locomotive in there. I don't know if I can lift this up without. Yep, there's a hustler locomotive and my high rail truck sitting inside there and let me see if I can sit that back down yep and then this is uh, these are my kit bashed um, auxiliary water tenders here this one says the Burlington route that one says Chattanooga that one's going to get repainted and I just knocked over this again uh, let me just get this out of the way um, and this is my custom flanger that I did, oh, I don't know, two years ago. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, so, yeah, this is this yard's primarily a holding yard at the moment. As you can see, there's a switch right there for another track to be installed. There was originally three, actually four tracks in this yard, but uh, due to me moving and, and stuff getting damaged on the track, I had to take sections out of my yard and redo the main line, preferably the outer main. Um, but yeah, uh, this is actually the tower. This tower would actually normally be over there. I'll get to that in a bit, but I moved, I relocated the tower here because, you know, I wanted to try something different, and I do occasionally reorganize the buildings just to see how they um, work and look. And then this is a little station here. So that's one of the little stations here, but back to the yard track. Then it goes back here, goes to the interlock, and over there would be Tunnel Junction, which you guys frequently hear me talk about, and this is Tunnel Junction Station. So basically, Tunnel Junction Station has its name because it's right before the tunnel Tunnel Junction, so Tunnel Junction Station, so and it's a big junction that's inside of a a tunnel, so that's how Tunnel Junction Station actually got its name and how the junction is so famous. Um, so yeah, that station's been there in that location for years. Um, very very nice station. I don't know what kit that is, but it's a very very nice kit. The doors open on it and everything, um, but that would be the interlock right there. Or the yard, well, it's an interlock, but it's also a, a yard lead. So, track comes off of there, goes around here, and goes into the yard. I was thinking about putting a side in here, but then that would kind of interfere with the station, so I, I leave it like that. And then going back over here, this is my mini oil refinery. Uh, this is my shell oil, my shell oil tank. I've actually had this since I was a kid. And then I got this one a few years ago. I had the bottom of that, but I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in storage right now. And then these are just some of the fuel trucks I use. This is a true 148 scale uh, truck. It's a uh, major right truck. This is a Matchbox truck. It's also 148 scale. Matchbox did make some 148 scale trucks. Uh, this one I don't think is 148. I think this is what? I'm not even sure, but those are the fuel trucks that I have there. And you can see I got the Sunoco tank car here and another tank car. And then this is a rich person's house. Um, yeah, they, they basically have the prestige house in this little town. Doesn't really have a name because, you know, I don't know. 
I don't I don't know if I name the town. I don't really have a name for the town, but uh, they have a lot of nice vehicles parked out here most of the time. Um, and this is the Roadside Inn restaurant. Now you guys probably know about this kit. Um, I've actually had this kit for years. Let me move this out of the way. I've actually had this for years, and I got it for dirt cheap actually. Only one thing is missing, and that's that chimney right there. And that that kind of kind of makes me upset because you know I did have everything on the building when I actually got it, but you know moving around so much it it takes a toll on some things. But I think I can kit bash another one of those. And I think there was a sign here, but that wasn't there from the get go. Um, these are my tank busters here, and I don't know why my camera just did that. Okay, these are my tank busters here. So yeah, the army does occasionally go to the restaurant <laughs> uh, in town. So a lot of protection here, people. No no crime in this town. <laughs> um, this is another house that I have. Kind of reminds you of the suburban Philadelphia homes in a way, if you look at it. I like it. I had that for you a long time. And this is another little house. This is my church. Gotta have, uh, gotta have church. Gotta have God in, in on your layout, got it. Because if it wasn't for God, uh, I wouldn't have these trains in it. We wouldn't have anything that we have today. So people go to church on my layout. And then this is another little house with a back porch. Not sure what kits these are. Um, and this is a warehouse. Pretty sure this is a Bachman kit. Um, but it's nice, or you know, warehouse loading dock area. Really nice. And then there's my, uh, what is that, what's that called, uh, greenhouse, got all the flowers in there, you know, year round. Uh, the kit was already broken when I bought it, it still needs some work, the tape's temporary, I don't know how I'm going to exactly fix this properly because, you know, the way that the, the plastic has been cracked, it's, you know, you know, it just, it, it, it's good, but it could be better, but it was already like that when I bought it. And then I got the fire station and the police station. I don't have the police cars or the fire trucks out yet. I will be getting those out hopefully. And then you have another warehouse over here. And you're actually getting some sneak peek at some new stuff, people. You're getting a rare glimpse at some stuff that I recently just purchased. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's my warehouse. I tell you, that truck is awesome. I don't care what anybody says. I like that truck hands down and then in my town I do have a replica of the Eiffel Tower and it keeps accurate time so you better not be late for your train because if you are you don't really have a legitimate excuse because the clock is practically like there all the time and as I said God's on my layout so you got to be re representing God bless America right there and there's my little Peace bear right there. Um, and let's see. Over here on this side of the layout is East Side Station. I know you guys are familiar with this kit. I've seen a lot of people do some amazing things with this kit. I'm pretty sure that um, there's another section that goes to this, but I, when I bought the layout, and this is a true story. When I bought the layout, the buildings came with it. So that building, those buildings, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, and I think that one and that one. Those all the buildings came with the layout. Like not even kidding. The ra that building, think I think that came with the, the I think that came with the layout. But I'm pretty sure the two stall one came with the layout. The two stall one that I have, I have a one stall and a two stall. And that's why I'm going to add that third track in there so I can put my two-star one up again. But I might move it over there where the, yum the lumber yard is. That's what I forgot to mention, the lumber yard. This is a lumber yard kit. Um, I'm jumping around, people. But the cool thing about it is you can actually put a motor in here. And the little water wheel, which I might add, actually turns. You can actually put a motor in here. And they did it so you could, yeah, you could put a motor in here and actually have that water wheel turn. Um, normally, this building would be right over there, but I, as I said, I changed things around. But moving on, uh, moving back to this, this is my, this is East Side Station, and the reason why it's called East Side Station is because it's on the east side of the town. 
and uh, rail fans you know usually come through here and set up the, their cameras here or in this area or on parked freight cars very very good rail good very 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 big hot spot here because you got three tracks on this side of the town uh, the road actually comes in through here and you're getting another sneak peek people you're getting another sneak peek uh, so the road comes in through here curves through here and then it goes out that way so it's kind of like a kind of like a giant s in a way kind of like a giant s now if you look on the layout you will see these lines here this is actually the some of the original track plan now the engine service facility the engine servicing facility that's there actually at one time was here so everything got switched around when i rebuilt this layout i did I did all this myself. The track plan is my own design. Uh, I didn't use any track drawing software. Made this up in my head, and you know this is what it looks like. I tweaked it over the years, made it better, took some things out. This crossover is getting replaced with one with a better angle, so that means these cars, these passenger cars, will be able to go through without derailing. But anyway, the engine servicing facility used to be here. And the cool, th and, and another cool thing is, the engine servicing facility was here. Then there was a huge yard down on this side of the layout, like the like a huge, huge yard, like it was ginormous. And right here, right here at one of the yard tracks, it was actually a double. It was actually an interlock. So actually, there was a switch here, and then you could go through on the interlock track through the yard here, switch back over here. Go all the way around, switch back over there where that switch is, back out into the main. So it was actually like a passing siding in a way. Also, there was actually a, a siding that used to be right there. There used to be a siding right there, but that's no longer there because the station is there. But that was the original configuration of the layout. Um, it was brass track uh, with, um, it actually was, um, had little, t little uh, spikes on to hold the rail down it was good for a while but eventually I got tired of derailments I mean believe me when you're running 20 to 20 you know 20 car trains and you're running on brass track that's that old um, eventually you get tired of the derailments don't get me wrong I like the click of the clack sound but I just get tired of derailments not only that but it was a pain to clean pain um, but yeah I, I do have a video of that layout not in that configuration, but at one time, this layout, um, the first stage of the re rebuilding of it, it was way bigger than this. Like, how should I put this? Uh, originally, the layout came out, came out about here, about where my foot is. There was like a like a ledge here that came out to where my foot is right now, and there was a track that came out from here and went all the way around and swung out right where the refrigerator is went right where that wall is but a little bit further out and then came around and back over here there was actually uh... i was able to put another yard there i actually had three yards on this layout at one time you 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 you, you know if i can get that video if i can get those cassette tapes converted and put them on youtube you guys would be shocked because i actually had three yards on this layout i had the yard in here then i had a small yard here which i which at one time was the engine facility then on in between the other tracks over here i had a two track yard over there then in, in conjunction with that i had three three mains i had these two mains and then i had it i had another main so basically basically it was like this this was the third main this was main number two and then actually there was a third main out here so yeah my correction there was a third main out here and then the track that I told you that came out here branched off of that so the third main would have been out here where my finger is main number three or main number one would have been here this would have been main number two and main number three so I have to figure out a way to get that converted over I think Amazon has something for that but I'm not sure but uh, yeah and then one more thing, uh, that tunnel there, me and my dad built that when I was, I think, 15 or 16, I was 15 years old, 14 or 15 years old when I built, when me and my dad built that tunnel. And that tunnel is so strong, 
it can actually we can actually stand on that tunnel that's how strong it is and I'm not even kidding not even kidding you can actually physically stand on that tunnel and it would hold you like not even kidding me and me and him built that he you know we we, we came up with the design because there's a there's actually a, a bridge that actually is angled like that like you see it's like a straddle bridge we wanted to have my, my dad wanted to make a tunnel like that and I thought it was a cool idea so we designed that tunnel based off of the bridge that is in is in uh, Paley here um, so which is which is pretty cool and um, that's that's it right there that's it and if you look at it I did at one time use it as like a little workshop thing you know because I did paint on it and stuff but eventually when I get my primary layout that's gonna get painted or probably get a mountain put over it or some or something but uh, very very nice very very nice um, construction project me and my dad did it. it was a lot of fun a lot of fun a lot of fun um, so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the layout um, if you have any questions about it, uh, this, by the way, this is a four by eight. I, this is a four by eight, by the way. Um, but if you have any questions about it, uh, please let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Uh, you're probably wondering why there's no scenery on this layout. Um, I, I, since this layout has been moved around so much, it's not really worth me putting time and money into putting scenery on it because if I have to take it down again to put it in storage or, or whatever I have to do, it would be a pain to remove the scenery or if it gets damaged to redo the entire scenery so this technically won't get any scenery this is going to be my test layout because my actual layout which I'm which I already practically know what it's going to look like is going to have the scenery on it now eventually I probably will put scenery on this layout because it would look nice with some scenery on here um, I did a, I did a, at one time have little trees on it like but they were in like wooden stands that I just could sit on the layout and I did have some light posts and street lamps and stuff like that that were battery powered on the layout but that was a long time ago um, but you know you guys you guys you know requested this uh, and you obviously like my layout and I'm glad that you guys do it's an honor to be able to give you a tour of this layout um, I, I wish I'd done one sooner but one one youtuber one fan he actually got me off my behind and you know I got off my behind and I did it so uh, thank you thank you and your name will be at the bottom of the screen I don't know it right now and I don't want to say it because if I say the wrong name I'm gonna feel really silly so I'm just gonna put the name at the uh, bottom of the screen so thank you goes out to that YouTube fan for requesting this and uh, anyone else that was interested in the layout tour um, yeah, as I said, thank you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, let me close out this video with running of some trains. Now, you guys are getting a sneak peek right now. I'm not telling you, you guys probably already know what you're looking at, but I'm not saying anything, so I'll just let the trains do the talking.
Hope you guys enjoy the video. Later.